My dear child the storm you are facing is coming to end now that you have awoken your pathway is about to become as crystal clear as a fresh water lake the lesson the obstacle and the trump you face were all directing you to this very moment so get ready So you are now entering the beginning of a new cycle that is filled with so much joy abundance optimal health unconditional love genuine energies and unexpected miracles This last phase of your old cycle will test your patience your faith and your will power but your heightened intuition will successfully guide you through the final steps so take a moment to step back and really see how far you have come don't underestimate the progress that is taken place within you so success means something different to each person how you measure your says a lot about how you feel inside don't revolve your growth around the material things you have acquired over the years so instead it focus on the emotional mental and spiritual growth you have made true elevation is recognizing how differently you make decisions now it is knowing that you are no longer tolerate certain energies so you can protect your own it is being able to see situations through newer lenses and accepting what comes your way with less resistance Trust your process and realize that you have come a lot further than you think. So the calm energy you used to dwell on your past in the same energy you could be using to focus on your present. So the same energy you used to marinate in your problem is the same energy you could be using to find their solutions so the same energy you used to complain about what you don't have is the same energy you could be using to count all your blessings So the same blessing someone else would do anything for energy is everything how you use it and distribute it say a lot about your character so create positive vibes then spread them to others gratitude and patience will take you a lot further than you ever expected to go my child know that You will never know if something is made for you if you don't give it a proper chance. Whether it is a relationship, a new job, a new city or new experience, throw yourself into it completely and don't hold back. If it does not work out then it probably was not made for you and you will walk away without regret knowing that you put your whole heart into it. That is all you can ever do. It is a horrible feeling leaving a situation knowing that you should have and could have done more
सो फाइंड द करेज टू टेक दैट चैंस फाइंड द इंस्पिरेशन टू मेक योर नेक्स्ट मूव एंड वंस यू डू फॉर योर हर्ट इन टू इट सो डोंट लुक बैक A huge part of the most collective have been in the midst of a fierce spiritual battle lately. It is not warfare against the seen but against the unseen, but I will let you in on a secret victory is yours. There is right victory is yours. Here is why you are not fighting to what victory you are fighting from victory you are gifted and you are powerful that is why you are here your presence means everything it is time to get out of your head and back into your heart until you accept your importance on this planet you can't walk in the true power of your magnificence so many of you have created a blueprint for yourself and your role in this matrix of life is vital never be less than who you are your influence matter your opinions matter it is a part of your divine birth right spirit says to get excited again the enemy has already been defeated and he or she know it so dear souls know that The greatest gift you can offer the world is your trust most authentic self you work created exactly as you are because who you are is who this world needs it is your kindness your humor your passion your originality it is the fire that burns inside you it is your fire's courage and irreplaceable spirit It is the way you love with your whole entire being fully and apologetically no holding back it is your unique presence your divine signature So it is the way your smile can change a person's entire day how your heart pours out love without expectations or conditions So it is the wisdom that lives inside you your voice your words your ideas your unique way of seeing the world you are an original unmatched and incomparable Second to none let go of who you think you are supposed to be and step into your trust self So be who you are offer what only you can give you will never be too much or not enough for the people worthy of experiencing the fullest expression of you So my child know that God is filling us up with fresh hope and vision for the future He is preparing us for new doors, new path, new adventures ahead. He is dealing with old wounds and pain from the past so gently so we can be free to run into this plan for such a time as this. We need one another for the journey. We are not mean to do life alone. We hear his heart for us within community. He is calling us out of the old and into the new. We are leaving the morning clothes behind and putting on new robes of favor.
It is time for us to step into the new. Are you ready? The emboldened women's retreat was an absolutely amazing time. We gathered together with women from all over to put God together and encourage one another as we came into this new season. We are mission to empower a generation to hear God's voice with confidence and clarity so we can live on purpose and bring revival to the nations. No matter what is going on in the world, Jesus has a plan for you. It's time to get ready to arise and shine in the middle of darkness and be a part of the amazing plan God has to advance his kingdom in this hour is history. So dear child, know that. Jesus will give you fresh oil to light the first love fire again throw it all fresh oil to help you keep running fresh oil that heals like that balm of gilead even when you want to give up jesus will never give up on you Like fresh oil poured into an oil lamp, He will light the first love fire in your heart again to help you make it through the dark night of your soul. Through the valley of trouble or weeping, through the dark hallway of transition, He is the only who heals, He is the one who satisfies. He is the one who will wipe your tears. He is the one who will make a way forward for you. He will give you the oil that flows to wipe away all the disappointment. He will finish what he started in your life. God is not man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will he not do it or has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? So dear God, Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning for all that I have. Even if I have problems with my health, I am alive today. If I have money problem, I will eat today. I have clothes to wear, a roof to protect me and air to breathe. Let me never take for granted this gifts of life, O oh Lord. But always remember that they come from you. I pray to live this day in joy and thankfulness for what I have remembering always who made me and who keeps me in the name of Christ I pray Lord our God dear father in heaven we thank you that we may be your children led by you we thank you for guiding us in times of grief and never forsaking us now as a old you are with us We thank you for your guidance and rejoice in your help for our time. Reveal your hand in power for soon very soon your right hand will change everything. Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning for all that I have. Even if I have problems with my health, I am alive today. 
If I have money problems, I will eat today. I have clothes to wear, a roof to protect me, and air to breathe. Let me never take for granted these gifts of life, O oh Lord. But always remember that they come from you. Without you, no man could make the sun shine or the tree bear its fruit. I pray to live this day in joy and thankfulness for what I have remembering. Always who made me and who keeps me. In the name of Christ, I pray. So dear souls know that traditionally rain symbolize rebirth and washing one's sins away water is also associated with emotions and a summer rain can represent the release of long held emotions that allow for a purification and inner healing there is also a renewal expect of rain it is difficult for new vibrant energy to enter your life if it is a colloque with old and outdated energy cleanse and purify your body and your physical space this is a great time for a detox clutter clearing cleansing and space clearing release outdated energy to invite fresh clear energy into your life So eat lightly don't take things personally release resentment guilt and blame purify your self thought word and deed decluttering is modern day alchemy So if you don't love it or use it let it go this card also represent abundance as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity and a time of expansion so roses are universal symbol of love the rose was associated with aphrodite the goodness of love and beauty it was also thought to represent truth So in Roman times a rose was hung in meeting places with the understanding that only truth could be spoken under the rose. Love is all around you. Love is coming into your life. You are already more cherished than you can possibly know. Indeed, you are a sacred vessel for love. to flow through you when you stand in the of it all so all is well no matter what is happening around you you know that you are loved and you are lovable you know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love you are enough just as you are type yes if you have faith and trust in god 